Good morning, you guys. Oh my God, it's so bright. Okay, that's better. That's, okay, stop sliding, stop sliding. Stop. Good, all right, anyways, good morning, you guys. Uh, today's the day. Today's hopefully the final day this car has templates on it. We get long plates today. There should be no reason why we can't get our plates today. I fixed the control arms. I fixed the muffler. All I need left is a exhaust clamp on the back where I put the or I cut and put the new one on. I don't think it'd be an issue. Like I don't think it's an issue, but I know if I go without a clamp, someone's gonna lose their mind and start crying. I'm gonna fail inspection. So I need to go to Sasha shop real quick and see if he can't um, give me an exhaust clamp. He does exhaust there at his shop. So I'm really hoping when he does, he just put my car in a lift real quick put the clamp on for me and we're good to go. I just don't want to land in the car and do that. It's not very hard to do, but I said, I, I used the lift yesterday and all that nice space to work in and I got so spoiled and now I don't want to land on the ground anymore. So <laughs> if he can do that, that'd be amazing. If not, I'll come home real quick, throw it on the car, then off to Capone, get the car inspected and we should pass. We should pass. I fixed everything. There should be no issues why we don't pass. We should pass. Just pulled up and Sasha always has cars for sale, but look at these wagons. E46 wagon, E or E36 wagon, E30. Is that actually an M3 though? I don't know if I believe that or not, but either way, E30 wagon, really cool. And then the same uh, Mark IV that's sitting there and then the Mark II, it's up there, pretty cool. But I like these a lot. Those are real nice. Okay, so that didn't really go well. Um, he doesn't have any exhaust clamps like in stock. He had to order one in, which is kind of weird, but is what it is. Um, he does weld exhaust, but his welder's broken, so I'm kind of SOL right now. So now I'm gonna go to another store he told me about that it should have the clamps in stock, but then I'll have to go back home, jack up the car, put the clamp on, then go to Capone. <sighs> what a hassle today. Okay, whatever. It's okay, we're gonna have long plates today. It's all gonna work out. I believe this is the place he told me to go to. Also, check this out. Look how crazy the fog looks over the mountain. It looks so cool. So, clamps have been acquired. I got a few because I can't remember exactly what size the exhaust was and I didn't want to get the wrong size for the pipe. So I got like three. Um, the plan I have now, I'm like two minutes from um, Capone Base. I don't want to go all the way home, jack up the car, put this on and come all the way back. So, while my car's on the little drive on lift thing, you can go underneath the car. If they say something about it, I'm like, yo, the clamp's right here and I have all my tools with me. I'll just put it on right then and there and see me behind the jack of the car and land underneath it. And then if they don't say anything, we're good. So this might be a really dumb idea, but I don't know, I'm probably going home, so I'm gonna try it. I don't know, in my head, I see this going very well. Either they'll be like, hey, there's no clamp here. I'm like, oh, I got one, put it on, good, or they won't see it at all. I don't know, in my head, it's working. So let's, just, let's hope it works. We are at my absolute favorite place ever. Let's see how this goes. All right, so we failed inspection again. They were so upset about this exhaust clamp. And I was like, well, I have one right here. I can just throw it on real quick. He's like, no, you cannot do work here. No, I'm like, it's just a clamp. It's not that big a deal. No, you must not. Like, okay, relax, I'll relax. I'll pull the car real quick. I'll jack it to the parking lot. I'll put it on, I'll bring it back in here. He's like, well, you gotta check for other leaks too. I'm like, no, I don't. I was only told I needed a new muffler. That's all, I'm, that's all I changed. So I'll put a clamp on and bring it back in one second. I'm literally right, right here. <sighs> like it's my fault for not bringing it with the clamp on but I, I didn't think they'd be that upset about it like this guy was like upset like how dare you like oh, yo, relax it's okay it's just a clamp it's not that big a deal so I'm gonna go ahead and drive the car real quick put the clamp on and then drive it back around and go through again and then I don't know I think he's not filming me for something else we'll see oh these people are so bored they're so bored all right, let's do this real quick. All right, time for round two. Exhaust clamp is on. It's very, very tight. There should be no issues, but he was he kept telling me, he's like, I hope there's no other leaks. I hope there's no other leaks. I'm like, yo, on paper, it only says replace muffler, and he only pointed out the holes. Um, well, I showed you guys. That was it. So if he tries to point out some other leak now, I'm calling BS. If he, I don't know, whatever. Round two. Here we go. Again, I said, it's my fault for bringing the car here without the clamp on, but I did not think they would be that upset about a clamp and not let me take two minutes just to put a clamp on while it's already up in the air. There's no line. There's no one here. Like, I've been the only person here that's coming to the inspection for the last 15, 20 minutes. There's nobody here. There's no rush. There wasn't anyone in his way. They were just upset. So, let's go try this again. It's almost comical at this point. All right, here we go. A few moments later. I absolutely 1000% cannot stand this place. This process is so unbelievably stupid. So, tighten it down, everything's good. He's like, eh, it needs to be welded. Are you, why? Bro, I, this this is, I can't, dude. I'm, uh, just, just. And I said, is it leaking? He said, well, no, but it needs to be welded. Why? 
If it's not leaking, I fixed the leaking problem you just said it had. I fixed that problem, and now you want me to weld it. Why? Bro, I can't stand this, dude. Like, that's... that's. Mmm. 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 Yo, bored. Like, just straight bored out of your mind, and you want to pick the stupidest thing to possibly complain about. You're just so bored. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go to this shop Steve told me about and have them weld this pipe on now. And then if he says something after that, I'm, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Um, I, I don't know. Ah, God, it's so, so boring. Everyone's just so bored and complaining about everything for no reason. I fix the leak. And then he says, yeah, it needs to be welded. <laughs> Why? Just, ah. Uh... Uh, all right, so this is just not going well. So I came to this shop first so they can weld the uh, the pipe up real quick. They can, but not till 2 p.m. It's currently 12.33, so I have to wait. Um, and I'm waiting for Jeremy to text me back. He said maybe the Auto Skill Center on Ramsdown can do it or some other body shop. So I'm just waiting to see who can weld this exhaust before like 3.30 because I need to get back to the inspection and I want my long plates today. So <sighs> on the bright side though, I popped out this um, cassette out of my tray here and this is actually a Bluetooth cassette. Never heard. Cassette adapter Bluetooth. Look at that. Kind of fancy. So I have Bluetooth. I guess that's a win for today. But other than that, I, I just want my long plates, man. So yeah, they can't do it until 2 p.m. I'm trying to find something that can do it sooner than that so I can get long plates and go. Cause I have to go pick up some wheels today as well. And this is impeding my progress to do that. So just sitting around waiting. At least we're back at my favorite place. Also, parked next to this really cool mini. Got all the wood inside it and the cool, the flag on the roof. I think they're so sick. There's like three or four on base. I love these things. Are those Smiths too? Ooh, wait, the Smiths. Sick. Oh my god. Okay, so the guy here, uh, Steven, is not in until like 3 30 today, which helps me none because registration closes at 3 30. Um, I mean, if I just wanted to do it like next week, it'd, it'd be fine, but. Oh, this, this, mm, this has been fun. So now I'm waiting to see if there's a body shop that can possibly do it. Ah! A few moments later. I swear to you guys, I am going to lose my shit today, bro. I am so annoyed with what, oh, this is so stupid. So I go back over here at 2 p.m. Couldn't find anyone to wall the thing. Come back at 2 p.m. I'm there right on time. It was like 1.55 early and ready to go. Um, and they pull the car off the lift. I'm like, cool, my car is next. They pull another car in. I'm like, all right, whatever. Waiting, waiting, waiting. It's like 2.20 or so. I give the guy my keys because he asked for them. Um, and then he's walking around talking to all the other guys, doing this, doing that, doing this. And then it's like 2.40. I'm like, yo, um, I need my keys. I got to leave. And he goes, okay, one second. So he walks in the shop and then disappears. And I see him again, like, yo, I was like, I need my keys. Okay, one second. No, give me my keys. I need to leave. No, 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 just a few minutes. No, give me my keys. I'm leaving. Like. Oh my god! Dude, I'm so sick of inspections and all this garbage. It takes forever to get anything done. Germany's cool and all, but like, yo. I can't wait to go back to Florida. There's no rules because I don't want to do this ever again. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to put the impact on this clamp and see if I can just get the bolts crazy, crazy tight. Maybe that'll be enough that there's no more leak or I don't know. He wanted it welded, but dude, I don't, I don't know. Dude, this is so stupid. Like I've wasted my entire day running around doing this worth, this is stupid. It's so stupid. I'm actually sick of this. I should have left at hours ago to go pick up these wheels and now I'm really behind. <sighs> it's just annoying. Absolutely annoying. Waste of my entire day driving around doing a bunch of stupid stuff. Oh my goodness. Try and go home, impact these bolts really, really, really tight, go back to inspection, probably fail, and then I'll just call it quits until next week and I'll... Dude, I don't even know. This is stupid. Absolutely stupid. So I decided there's just there's just no point to try and tighten this clamp. They're not gonna be happy with that. They're just gonna fail the car again, and it's just gonna be a waste of my time. So scrap that idea. We'll push this entire plate project until next week because they're not open until Monday, or even I think it might be even Tuesday. I don't know. I really don't care. So I'm gonna go pick up these wheels now. 
That's the guy texting me now. We have about a two and a half hour drive. Let's get it. And then I was able to charge up this um, Bluetooth cassette I have there. So like on Casey's car, she has almost the same radio as me, but we added the actual like, Bluetooth connector in the background. But this one actually has a cool little Bluetooth uh, cassette. So you see their cassette BT, we've connected to it. So now I'm pretty sure I can just play music. It doesn't sound happy. Hold on, I'm making this terrible sound, hang on. That doesn't sound good. I don't hear, I'm playing music right now, but I'm hearing a static. Oh no. Ah. Okay, well I think that, I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna use the radio. Okay, well, that was a fun try. I do actually have uh, some CDs though. Some little CD jam. What else we got in here? Oh, we just jamming. What about number two? No, no number two? Ah, stop that. Okay, back to number one then. I don't even know how many C's are in there, honestly. That didn't sound good. Okay, let's go back to one. Ah, stop. You know what, we're just gonna leave, we're just, you know what, radio. We're just gonna leave it alone. Just, just radio. Alright, we made it. I think I'm here. I think it's one of the houses over there. That drive absolutely sucked. It was like 2 hours and 45 minutes. That sucked so bad. <sighs> over here. Alright, let's get these wheels. Hey, how you doing? Luca. Christian, nice to meet Hi. you. Nice to meet you. Open this up. Okay, we have a car full of wheels, and I must drive a very, very long way back home. Officially back home five, a little over five hours of driving later. This car has been an absolute champ. Still hasn't missed a beat. And so far, I'll update you guys. So I haven't gone through an entire tank yet, but we are at 634 kilometers, which comes out to about... 393 miles and my lights not even on yet so this is definitely a 400 plus mile car easily and what's funny is this car still has bad o2 sensors and a bad EGR valve and i'm still getting like 30 or so miles per gallon which is amazing so i'm pretty sure if i fix that stuff it'd get even better but honestly i can't complain like look at that 634 so far and i'm not even out of fuel i'm almost there but not out of fuel yet so that's awesome Good job, little wagon. You're doing great. I have to give credit where credit's due, and the Mark IV 1.6 is definitely an absolute beast of an engine. Like, that thing just goes. That car has 315,000 kilometers on it, and it just goes and goes and goes. Same with my last 1.6. I was an SR. This one's a 1.6 16-valve. A little different variation, but still 1.6 is nonetheless. Honestly, like, absolute tank of an engine. All right, now let's get to what everyone, uh, everyone wants to see here. As you can see by the cap right here, these are Rotiform RSEs, and they look really, really good. I'm not going to test them tonight because it's late, but like, I'll set them by the car. They look really, really good. All right, so I apologize that it's dark, and this is like the worst way to show off wheels, but like, those look really, really good. Super sick. Look at that. Bam. Bam. So clean. So, so clean. Like, look at the back of the thing. Look at this. Look at this. Like, unbelievably clean. Those look so, so good. I'm hyped. So here's the part that everyone's gonna be mad about and everyone's gonna hate. The wheels are going on a car here at the house. They're just not going on the wagon. I know, sad face. I wish, I wish they were. I wish those were for me, but unfortunately they're not. You know thinking? They're for this car, they're also not for this car. So they're not going on the wagon, they're not going on this car, obviously not for Miley or that car. So we're left with what car? We are left with this car over here. Tony's GLI. So yes, the Rotiform RSEs, bam, are for this car here. And they're gonna look really, really good, I think. So if you don't remember, Tony is in Spain for six months, his car staying here, and I told him any parts he wants me to get for his car while he's gone, just send me the money and I'll go get it. So 
We picked up some nice, really, really, like, these wheels are like, they look brand new, honestly. They look absolutely brand new, beautiful Rotiform RSCs. They're gonna look in this car. So sometime, either this weekend or next week, we will put these wheels in the car and get a full, like, test fit, some pictures, but it's gonna look good. Man, honestly, if these were 50100, Tony, I'd be, there's zero 50112, but if they were 5100, I would be 1000% stealing these wheels. They look so, so good. Like I said, I want a set of BBS RC for this car, which is basically like the same wheel as that. And it's like, oh, it's gonna look so good. So, so, so good. Gonna end it off here. It's been a very, very long day, a very annoying day. I still don't have long plates. We are just about to hit 13,000 subscribers on the channel, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so, so much. If you're not subscribed, the button's right there. Just do a little, little, little tap on it if you can. Helps me out a great deal. Don't forget, be thankful for the day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.